Today is International Day of the Girl, and one way to help empower young women is by giving them the tools to navigate and build their careers. You know who we need? We need our Susie. friend Susie Welch. She knows a thing or two about that. She's a business journalist, best selling author, and career expert. She always advocates for women in the workplace. She's a professor at NYU uh, Stern School of Business. Susie, it's so good to see you. Why don't we talk about a hot topic that's yes. been out there? Vanna White mm. was clearly underpaid for many, many years. She uh, she had a deal. It wasn't great. It was kind of exposed after Pat Sajak. So what went wrong there? Well, I mean, this is uh, 18 years before going in and asking for a raise, especially when it was clear to her entire universe that she was indispensable. So I think what went wrong here was just this, maybe she just trusted the system too much. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I can't get inside her head. Yeah. But it is a great warning that nobody should wait 18 years before they go in and have a very candid conversation with their organization about, you know, what's my worth here? Yeah. Am I am I um, being paid what I should be paid? And mm -hmm. have that conversation. 18 it's, years. Don't even wait 18 months. And by the way, she may have had that conversation. She just may have heard no. You know, no. I mean, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you think? I mean, I think that they only say no when you're not indispensable. And she right. was she, fully it, indispensable. Right. Yeah, totally. not have no. So, but w imagine, you know, we're sitting, you're somebody sitting at home. They're like, I want to go talk to my boss. It's hard. It's yes. hard to, to oh. demand what you're worth and also, you know, stay humble and all the things that all I think things. women are taught to be. And, you know, the other thing is you're going in there and you know, or you should know, that they don't want to give you a raise. Now, right. they may love you and they may think you're the best thing that ever happened to them, but they have budget constraints and there's usually someone above them or there's a, there's a you know, a book that they're looking at of accounting that says, I can't afford another penny. So when you go in, you can't talk about your feelings or what somebody else might be making yeah. or, or your or your car payment, or some kind of yeah. cost. You have to talk about your impact on results. You have right. to say, this is the value is I add. Worth. This is what it would look like if I left. You have to sort of subtly say, and you have to keep goodwill. Well, like, you don't okay. want to alienate your boss in that no. conversation. What if he says, thank you for all those things? The answer is no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you have to come back on Wednesday, the next day. What no, are you supposed to do? you don't leave the room. Hold on, you flip the script. And what no. you say is, okay, what would it take for me to get a raise? Let's have a conversation about that. What would it take? Let's get the five things I need to do, and in what time frame and yeah. then I'll check back in with you at that time frame get yeah. an action get plan something. Yeah. don't, don't yeah, swallow that good. no without that's coming good. back and saying I've got I've got yeah a well, I'm, I'm back at six months later right. you yeah. said no but now what right I've, I've done right. these things right. okay pay transparency yeah. has been something that's been in the headlines it's yeah. tricky yeah. because if you're talking to your co-workers about what they make there could be resentment there, right? Well, I mean, some places people really talk about their pay, and then you march into your boss's office and you say, "So and so, who's been here less time than I have, makes more." But the boss may know some things you don't know. They may mm. they may know what their pay was beforehand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's also tricky because they may think you may be stepping into a hornet's nest because the boss may actually think their performance is that much better. Yeah. Okay, and oh, you're performance starting performance-based yes, pay. And, and yeah. start, so if you're doing the exact same work and you're making a, a wage and you're not making, then you have to have that conversation. That's for sure. But th it, there's performance involved in how much people are making. And if you want to have that conversation about your performance being better or equal to everyone else, just go have it. But be careful. How long yeah. should you wait before you ask for a raise? Sometimes you start and you're like, I've been here for a year or two years. Right. I feel like I've contributed. Right. I mean, when is what's too soon? Right. What's Your boss is pretty much expecting you to come in every year and ask for a raise. Year? So you can, you know, you, you start. But I, it's not a matter of timing. It's about how much you value you add. So I would yeah. go in and I would time it around. Look, I've brought in three clients. I have made yeah. this many. My, uh, my customers are the happiest. I yeah. have this. Then when you have walk in there with a list of your Something, results yeah. Yeah. in there with your case already being made like I mm -hmm. delivered these results yeah what's it gonna be right yeah. right you know it's not about time it's about results right. another term that I, I really didn't know much about but is managing up mm. uh -huh. that tell us what mm -hmm. it is and mm -hmm. if it's effective you know we start managing up when we're little girls really when we're watching our parents and we're sort of <laughs> manipulating them gently mm -hmm. to see to get what we want mm -hmm. right you know we, we're also trained to manage but managing up is looking at your boss and sort of understanding uh, what they want from you and trying to create a a context where they want to have conversations with you about your performance. The mm -hmm. last thing the boss has time for or wants to do is tell you what you're doing wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to start that conversation and say, hey, what am I doing well? You know, I'd love mm -hmm. to hear about that. And how can I improve? Big smile, mm -hmm. making it pleasant for you to tell mm -hmm. me so that you'll tell me more. Yeah. And so managing up is having those conversations and sort of 
looking where your career could go. What's the next step? Because no one is going to do that for you, but totally. you, no one. Right. Yeah. And just finally, some people are just feeling in a rut. They're unmotivated. Mm-hmm. They're in a career. They may like the career, but it's just they're hitting that spot. Mm. So what are some things you can do if you're in that moment? You know, I, I hear this all the time at, at, at business school because a lot of students are in business school um, because they're starting saying, I would like to pivot. Transition. And, you know, and many of us, because the economy is changing and because we change as people, mm-hmm. we want to pivot. We want to say, what else? we have a lot of alternative views of ourselves. Mm-hmm. What could I be? We all have this dream of a life. Mm-hmm. And so you hit this rut and that is the time to do the hard work to stop and try to figure out who you are standing mm-hmm. still. A lot of us mm-hmm. don't know, who am I standing still? Mm-hmm. When you figure that out, and that's the lot of... What does that mean? Yeah. Still. Okay, so it means, who am I when I'm not busy? Who am I when uh-huh. I'm not running? Who am I when I'm not doing the next thing on my to-do list? Yeah. What are my true values? Yeah, what do I right. want my life to look yeah, like? Right. What am I really uniquely good at? And where does the world have opportunity for me, given mm-hmm. my skills? That's a real self-analysis. We don't stop to do it, and yet it changes everything when we do. Yeah, oh, I think it's easy so interesting, yeah, I right? That. Mm. I love that. And smart. Yeah. <laughs> Susie, you're the best. the best. We always feel this mm-hmm. way about you. Mm. Mm.